Welcome, you're watching Hat to Hat. I'm Antonina Antosha with UATV. Accessing new markets, developing new competitive products and services, as well as implementing new approaches to export promotion are critical to the further development of Ukrainian economy. These are the cornerstones of the Export Promotion Policy Program. To tell us more about the program, we're joined in the studio today by Vitaly Big Dai. He is the coordinator of the Export Promotion Program. Hello and thank you for joining. Hello, nice to be here. Thank you for inviting me. So what is the Export Promotion Program all about? Ukraine produces a lot of really great products mm -hmm. that we all can be proud of. And that's why it's so important to open doors for Ukrainian producers to new markets, to really promote the best of what Ukraine can offer to the world. And this is what we are primarily doing. We are improving, we are working to improve ability of Ukrainian companies to access new markets. Uh -huh. Apparently, it's not easy for many small medium enterprises to access new markets. And that's why technical, international technical assistance programs like Expert Promotion Policy Program of the Western NIS Enterprise Fund are so important. Uh, Western NIS Enterprise Fund has been working in Ukraine for over 20 years, uh, working with small medium enterprises, uh, providing investment capital, uh, helping them to develop their businesses and create jobs. And that's why we know, very well know the challenges that are faced by Ukrainian small medium sized businesses. Um, most of uh, small medium enterprises uh, in Ukraine have traditionally operated within local economy or in traditional export markets. And although more and more companies are now trying to export, still it remains to be quite difficult for many of them. Uh, Ukrainian businesses face uh, uh, both challenges and opportunities. Uh, implementation of the free trade agreement with the European Union provides yes. unique access to new markets, which still needs to be recognized, understood and utilized in order to reap promising economic benefits for Ukraine. At the same time, uh, Ukraine's traditional export markets, Russia and others, have become much more restrictive because of current geopolitical issues. Yeah. So current export challenges demand uh, major adjustments in Ukraine's traditional trading patterns. First of all, companies need to seek greater degree of geographical diversification mm -hmm. and explore export opportunities in European Union, uh, in Middle East, Western Hemisphere, Africa and Asia. Second, companies uh, need to facilitate, Ukraine need to facilitate um, a great, a great export product diversification and increase export of uh, products uh, with higher value added. And third, Ukraine needs to create incentives for exporting by the most innovative and efficient firms, small, medium enterprises. Overall, how will Ukraine benefit from this export promotion program? Ukraine will benefit in many ways. Uh, generally speaking, the program will reinforce transformative changes in Ukraine, in small medium enterprises and national policy that are required for Ukraine to prosper. The program will broaden and deepen the exporter base mm -hmm. by uh, engaging, engaging more small medium enterprises into trade. The program will also help to diversify composition of the trade and it will also help to establish new business relationships mm -hmm. with uh, really? foreign countries. We, we use various measures of results and two of them are number of trade show exhibits, trade show visits, trade uh, missions uh, organized with support from the program and a uh, number of Ukrainian companies that have been supported by the program. Mm -hmm. Uh, How many are those? Yeah, for example, in 2016, we supported 89 Ukrainian companies mm -hmm. in 15 trade promotion events. Overall, since the beginning of the Export Promotion Policy Program in 2015, we have supported over 180 companies in Ukraine and Moldova mm -hmm. uh, in over a dozen of industries uh, such as apparel, textile, food and beverages, travel and tourism, high-tech and software among them. In some 27 trade promotion events, showcases, trade shows, trade missions in 18 countries, including Germany, France, Canada, uh, United Kingdom, Lithuania, United States, Netherlands, Sweden, Poland, Romania, wow. Denmark, China, <laughs> Israel, 
Malaysia, Indonesia, Kenya, Tanzania, and India. So basically the whole world. <laughs> A lot of countries, yes, covering many various regions. Okay. What kind of opportunities will this program create for Ukrainian producers? Uh, everything we do is creating additional, uh, better opportunities for Ukrainian companies. Take, for example, promotional materials that mm -hmm. we help to produce, uh, videos and publications that help to tell a better story about new Ukraine, uh, videos such as uh, Invest Ukraine, Open for You, mm -hmm. um, uh, Grow Ukraine, Experience Ukraine, changes, uh, Ukraine is changing and, and others. These materials can be used by companies in their own marketing efforts. Secondly, uh, the program is building and supporting structures and projects that uh, at both national and industry level that uh, provide assistance to exporters and investors so that SMEs have better opportunities to access new markets. Mm -hmm. One of the structures, one of the organizations that we help to establish is the Expert Promotion Office. Uh, the Expert Promotion Office is working within the Ministry of Economic Development and Trade and providing a lot of valuable assistance to exporters and companies that are planning to what, export. What, what does it do? For example, the office is organizing uh, knowledge events such as seminars, workshops, master classes, lectures, mm -hmm. and also um, uh, trade missions um, and business forums abroad. For example, uh, just uh, very recently, we, together with Expert Promotion Office, have organized a trade mission to India. Mm -hmm. The mission included uh, 10 Ukrainian producers from uh, agricultural and uh, mechanical engineering sectors. The mission visited two large cities, New Delhi and Mumbai, and uh, met with over 100 Indian producers, distributors, and also attended uh, a trade show called Annapurna uh, World of Food India trade show. Uh, each company received in-depth uh, market briefing, mm -hmm. conducted bilateral business meetings with Indian uh, companies. Uh, five of the uh, companies that uh, joined the mission have reported to us that they have received concrete business trade propositions. Mm -hmm. uh, is there, uh, Any contracts signed? Um, even Not yet. <laughs> uh, I think a, a lot of contracts are in the process of negotiations. We expect one company, Enzyme, uh, that participated in this uh, trade mission already announced publicly that it is entering Indian market and has already uh, shipped a first trial lot of products that mm -hmm. will be tried and tested by Indian mm -hmm. companies. Uh, <clears throat> what kind of products or maybe services made or created in Ukraine are the most popular outside of Ukraine? Yeah, there are many sectors of Ukrainian economy with high demand in the world markets. For example, information and communication technologies. There is a huge demand for software development services, and Ukraine has a lot to offer in this area. Food industry. Uh, food security is an important concern for many countries. Yeah. Food import is rising in, um, in many regions of the world, for example, in Asia. And Ukraine has a very well-developed food industry, which can meet the growing demand, um, uh, growing global, global demand for food products. Also, tourism. Uh, I think Ukraine is very attractive because of its culture, uh, history, and architecture. I would also add that such industries as light industry, uh, machinery, pharmaceutical products, aerospace and others also are very, uh, have very high potential. So quite a wide range, I would say. Okay, the, the, the problem promises great success, but how is it being implemented? Our approach is to work with the Ukrainian government to mm -hmm. develop... So the government is involved? Absolutely how, so. How, how is it involved? Is it deeply involved or just, you know watching over the processes going on, or is it deeply, deeply involved in the process of Right at the very beginning, mm -hmm. we consulted uh, with uh, our government counterparts and made sure that uh, what we do fits the agenda and priorities of the government. Mm -hmm. So uh, our approach is to work with Ukrainian government uh, to develop and implement forward-looking national trade development policies and expert promotion strategies. But we also work with business associations, mm -hmm. NGOs, academic institutions, other donors, and even individual companies 
uh, to increase export awareness and export readiness, uh, readiness amongst small and medium enterprises. We also support public and private initiatives that focus on export promotion, export services, training, uh, positive uh, market imaging uh, and uh, mm -hmm. export capacity building. Improving policy and regulatory environment to facilitate exports, what does it mean? Companies that are trying to export need a lot of support from the government. And um, uh, still there are uh, a lot of areas where some simplification would be really needed to make the trade more easy for companies. And probably transparent as and well. And more transparent, absolutely. And this is a very complex area which has many aspects. And it really depends on engagement and uh, 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 you know, cooperation mm -hmm. uh, from various stakeholders, various agencies and ministries, not only Ministry of Economic Development and Trade, but, but other also well. other uh, important institutions such as National Bank of Ukraine, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ministry of uh, Agriculture Policy, um, yeah, Ministry of Infrastructure, uh, State uh, Service for Food Security, etc. So, um, uh, it's important that all of these agencies are on the same page, mm -hmm. uh, uh, share the same objectives and vision how to uh, develop and implement a national policy. But how do you do that? How do you Usually, gather all of this around one and the same aim? This is a really good question. Usually countries do it, achieve it through a process called uh, national export strategy process. Uh -huh. uh, we, uh, the Ministry of Economic Development has started uh, the national export strategy process in 2015 and Western and NAS Enterprise Fund has been helping the ministry in this effort. Uh, we provided uh, experts, uh, helped to bring experts, both local and international, to contribute to make this process um, more successful. So. Uh, it's important that, that the, the process really starts from identification of gaps from, uh, and then moves into a uh, discussion of options and work out solutions. Uh, when in 2016 we conducted uh, two national consultations mm -hmm. that brought over 100 experts and representatives from NGOs, chambers of commerce, public and pri private sector organizations, institutions, associations. Um, in order to identify the challenges and discuss solutions. And uh, we developed a draft document uh, called Strategic Trade Development Roadmap, which mm -hmm. was publicly presented in March 2017. And uh, then uh, it received a lot of, uh, it went through public consultation process. The Ministry of Economic Development received a lot of comments and suggestions, and now the document is uh, under review in the government, and hopefully it so can be adopted as a amendments national. Amendments are being made, right? Absolutely, okay. yes, and uh, hopefully this document can be adopted as a export, as the export strategy of Ukraine, which will be supported by various stakeholders, all the ministries, and uh, also private sector uh, institutions. Well, let's hope so. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for this Thank conversation. You. Thank you for your time. This was Vitaly Bigdai. He is the coordinator of the Expert Promotion Program in Ukraine. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.